Welcome aboard, ladies and gentlemen. Let me guide you through the activities of the past week. On the starboard side, you'll immediately notice a new drainage channel. Remember the old one that looked more like a colander? Well, here's the new one with a new raised edge. The aft deck is now fully prepared for treatment with Rust Buster before applying the two component paint. I continue to be amazed by the immediate action of the Rainex Rust Buster. Wonderful! While I let the Rainex do its job, I examine the condition of the stern below deck. Oops! This urgently needs to be pumped out, and the remaining sludge will be scooped out by hand. Hopefully the elves have been busy painting the aft deck by now. And hooray! It looks fantastic! I wish it was true. I mean, about the elves. The manhole is still being made by the iron monger, but won't keep me waiting much longer. In any case, I'm very pleased with this watertight result and I now consider the stern as restored, excluding the deck finish, of course. Meanwhile, at the other end of the boat, my father is busy protecting the railing from corrosion. After the necessary welding jobs, he's now applying a protective primer. And since it's a white primer, the boat immediately gets a beautiful, almost finished look, and that's a good mental boost. And do you know what Santa Claus, aka my father, brought me? Well, check this out. A beautiful restored door. As if it were new. Delightful. Just a shame that it now stands out even more against the rest of the boat. Since I ordered the polycarbonate for the skylight hatch in the pilot house a long time ago, it seemed like a good idea to refurbish the skylight as well. The bolts were hidden under several layers of paint and I tried various methods to get them out. Method number one, peeling off the paint and then unscrewing the bolts. Okay, little success. Creating resistance with a wooden block on the inside. Hmm, medium success. But the best and quickest solution? Just knock them out, fast and easy. There you go, this one comes home with me. Attentive followers will remember that my ultimate plan with this boat is to convert the propulsion to electric. I'll need all the space for solar panels. That's why the unsightly radar chair has got to go. It took me some mental gymnastics to get the cable out of the radar before nightfall, but eventually I could lead the cable through the roof and I was done for the day. In daylight, you can see the deplorable state of the hatch. I first scraped off as much paint as possible before bringing out my best second-hand investment, the Hydro Blaster. So far worth every penny. Feast your eyes on this. Doesn't it leave you in awe? How beautiful is this? 
Oh, 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 and what's this? Oh my God, the old dirty windlass. Look at the difference. My God, it's beautiful. Who would have dreamed of this? But, but wait, there's more. No way, hold my beer. Look at that. The flybridge steering wheel has come back to life. Oh, it's gorgeous. Quickly, let's head back to the rusty depths of the master cabin. This is the loved and approved Ranix Rust Buster and this is plain old phosphoric acid. In the left corner we have Ranix, a product I've used and loved and works amazingly and the only reason I'm putting it to doubt is the price. It comes in at a whopping 30 to 40 euros a liter. It contains in between 30 and 40% of phosphoric acid and 10 to 20% water. So you get my drift. This baby, pure phosphoric acid, comes in at a mere 10 euros a liter. I will be spraying both of them side by side, one panel with Ronix, one panel with phosphoric acid. And tomorrow we'll see who comes out as a winner or if the hefty price on the Ronix is worth the money. See you there.
I think I'll go with the cheaper one. Unless, of course, Mr. and Mrs. Ranex are watching and you feel the uncontrollable urge to send me tens of liters of Ranex, I love your product, but for now, I have to watch my pennies. Thank you. Oh, and I would like to take this opportunity to thank you all for the comments and for subscribing. It means the world to me. See you. Bye-bye.